channel, and Albers my dear friends, we love you so very much, as your year draws to a close and humanity gives itself permission to release what no longer serves and to look forward with hope and dreams alive, we celebrate with you. We love that you take this time to look within, recalibrate your life, and clarify your desires. We love that you give yourself these markers in your eternal journey. Every moment that you spend attuning to the thoughts that give you joy is a moment closer to having your desires appear in your life. Resolve this year that you will give yourselves permission to find thoughts and things to feel good about, no matter the circumstances around you. We are not predicting gloom and doom in this statement, we simply observe what you already see everywhere you look the contrast in your world is becoming more and more evident as hearts awaken and countless souls begin to bring their truth to the surface. This is not a tragedy but rather an incredible, rapid evolution of humanity. You are part of an exciting time on your planet. Events in recent years have driven so many inward, diving deep to reconnect with hearts long buried, dreams forgotten and desires that were once cast by the wayside. It is becoming increasingly difficult to ignore your feelings. The alignment between your thoughts and your soul is becoming more evident. When you feel good, your thoughts are those of love. When you feel bad, your thoughts diverge from those of the loving spirit within. Be true to yourselves in the coming year. You were not designed to please others unless it truly pleases you to do so. You were not designed to serve others at the expense of your own joy and well-being. Very few in the history of humanity have incarnated with the explicit intention to be martyrs, but those who chose that path, did, did it with glad hearts. You were not designed to fight or fix people or systems but rather to serve the values and empower the ideologies you believe in. So, in this time of intensified contrast, give up the fight. Give up trying to make others conform. Give up trying to make yourself conform. Like the roses and lilies, the grasses, trees and weeds, simply be yourself and trust that the love that lives within all things and all beings wants its expression in diversity. Diversity of thought, dear ones, leads to creation. If you all had the exact same beliefs and ideas, if you wore the same clothes, listened to the same music, and had the same solutions for the same problems and challenges, quickly you would become bored and desire the stimulation for growth. In nature, diversity stimulates evolution. In humanity, diversity does the same. In the coming year, wonder at the differences, seek to understand them if you wish, but remain true to your loving self. There's no need to get anyone else to agree with you. There's no need for you to agree with anyone else. Listen rather than argue. Love rather than hate. Be kind to yourself rather than self-deprecating. It is a year where remaining centered and rooted in love to the best of your ability will yield a bountiful harvest in your life. It is a year when being true to yourself will feel magnificent. It is a year when you will want to listen to your heart and act on its loving impulses so as to take advantage of the opportunities being offered. Dear Ones we know your world has a lot of turmoil as the eternally ineffective attempts to bully and manipulate one another into compliance go on. Wars can conquer nations and kill bodies, but they don't change minds or eliminate souls. Political wars can inspire chaos, anger, and fear, but even the most powerful on your earth will pass into the unseen and learn whether or not their power was rooted in love and whether or not history and future generations will see them as brilliantly as they thought they once were or will look upon them with greater clarity and wisdom. Fear not, dear ones. God is God. Love is love. Love is accessible to you in every breath, in every moment, in every thought, and in every choice. Love is the foundation from which you were created and the destination to which you will return. The more you choose to align with love, the better you will feel and the more magical and brilliant your life will become. As you celebrate your new year and look forward to the year ahead, replace hope with a resolve to seek and see what is good, beautiful, lasting and true in life, for in so doing, you will feel the love that seeks to flow into your life at all times. Love never ends. Dear ones, it is there for the taking, 
an eternal river of life, guiding you, loving you, embracing you, and carrying you forward. Look back on this year and celebrate your strength, your growth, your loving choices, the people whose lives you touched, and the people whose lives touched yours. Celebrate the challenges overcome and the tenacity of spirit you all exemplified. Celebrate your beautiful meals, beautiful art, and beautiful music. Celebrate the day you stepped in the grass and appreciate its cool softness on the solace of your feet. Celebrate the strangers who were kind to you and the times you were kind to yourself when others weren't. Look around your home and celebrate all the little reminders of love. Do you recall the feeling you had when you bought a cherished item or a picture you enjoy to this day? Touch a blanket, a pillow, or a crystal you love and marvel at the exquisite sensations of texture as your touch sends thousands of signals to your brain. In every moment, in every day, in every situation, you can find something to love. See and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened, and in this case, we mean the door to the never-ending, constantly expanding, all-giving stream of love that is yours for the taking. Happy New Year, dear ones. Happy New Moment. Happy New Opportunity to claim the feelings of love that are yours. God bless you. We love you so very much. The Angels.